Hey guys, welcome back to Maggie Insights. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your very own cartoon animated digital story. And yes, we will be using just one software and that's going to be Canva. I'm going to help you bring your creative ideas to life. Now you can do so many things with this. You can personalize it to a family member or friend. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do this step by step. I promise you it's easy and you don't need any design skills to do this. Just follow along and you'll get it. So let's get into it. I'm going to start off by opening Canva. On the left tab over here with this plus sign, you're going to click create. And you're going to click on videos over here. And you're going to click on the second option over here, video landscape. On the left tab, you're going to click on elements. In this search element section, you're going to type ocean background. And I have it in my recent, so I'm just going to click that. In the graphics section, you're going to click see all. And you can pick any type of ocean you would like for the first scene, or you can select the same one and follow along. For the first one, I'm going to select this one over here. You're going to resize it and enlarge the image. I'm going to make it as big as I can to kind of fill up the screen. Bring it up a little bit. I think that's good. Next, we're going to add the main character of our story, which is the turtle. In the search element section, we're going to type in moving turtle. And you're going to click see all. Out of these two moving options, I'm going to go with this one on the left. Now, I want it moving the other direction, so I'm going to click on the turtle. And I'm going to click flip. And click flip horizontal. And I'm going to resize it. Make it just a little bit smaller. And I think that's pretty good. Also, I'm going to move it out to the left. Like it's coming into the scene, so I'm just going to move it a little far left over here. Next, to add a little bit of motion and some character to our stiff ocean image, we're going to click in the search section over here and type moving reef. See all on the graphics. Select which one that you would like to add to the image. I'm just going to click on this one over here. Resize it. And position it somewhere. Also going to click this one over here to give it a little bit more character. Resize it and place it wherever you would like. You can get more creative and add some of the magic recommendations. So I'm going to add a jellyfish. I'm going to add a crab as well. Just making this story come to life as best as I can. And I promise you it gets better. I'll do a fish as well. Position it over here. Next, we're going to click on our main character, which is the turtle. And then we're going to click on animate over here at the top. And we're going to click on this busy bee over here. Click on create an animation. Just like it's shown in this example over here, you're going to click the main character or the main image that you would like to move. As it states in this tips over here, you're going to hold shift while dragging to create your lines. I think I'm going to do a steady movement style. And I'm not going to adjust the speed. I'm going to keep it as is. Now, if you wanted this movement to appear on click, you can click here. I think I'm going to leave it on steady and just click done. Next, we're going to add text to our story by clicking text just below on the elements. You can select whatever text styles you would like to use. I'm just going to click add a header. Type in whatever storyline you would like. I'm just going to type swim, swim, gin. Position it to the top. Bring this down a bit. Bring this fish down. Now I'm going to change the font color to white. Expand it just a bit. I'm going to click play to preview our first scene. 
I think that's good. Now we're ready for scene two. And instead of clicking add a page, we are going to duplicate this page over here by clicking these three dots. And then you're going to click on duplicate page. We're just going to click on that page. For this page, we're going to swap the background and give it a new scenery. So I'm just going to click the background page and click delete. We're going to go back to elements. I'm going to type ocean background. It's going to click. And we're going to scroll down to find another background. And I think I'm going to select this one over here and I'm going to position it. Also, I'm going to click on position over here. Go to my layers and just drag it all the way to the back. I'm also going to change the font color to a darker blue so maybe it can pop more. I'm going to click on this A over here. I'm going to select this one over here. I'm also going to change the storyline. Let's put swim swim until you win. So let's press play to see both of the scenes that we created so far. All right, for scene three, we're going to do the same and click the three dots, duplicate the page, remove the background and search for another background. I'm scrolling to find another image. I think this one is good over here. I'm going to position it. We're going to do the same by bringing it to the background. Click on position. We're going to drag it all the way to the back. And for this specific scene, I'm going to resize the turtle to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to change the storyline to swim, swim high. And I'm going to change the color back to white. Kind of position him a little bit elevated as if he's swimming over it. And I'm going to preview it to see. Nice. All right. Now we're ready for scene four and we'll pretty much be doing the same concept. Duplicating the page. Deleting the background. So we're going to head over back to elements. Ocean background. See all for the graphics section. I think I'm going to go with this one over here. Position it and bring it to the back. Position layers. I'm going to move the turtle a bit low. Okay, I think that's good. And we're going to change the text to swim, swim, low. I'm going to play a preview. All right, looks good. Now it's time for our final scene. Click on the three dots. Duplicate the page. Remove background. Scroll down. I believe I'm going to go with this one. Position it. Also click on position. Layers. Move it to the back. And lastly, we're going to change the text to swim, swim everywhere you go. So now I'm ready to play the entire thing and see the story that we created. Swim, swim, gym. Swim, swim until you win. Swim, swim high. Swim, swim low. Swim, swim everywhere you go. All right, so if you're satisfied with your short story, you would go ahead and click share and you would click download and you can save it as an MP4 video and you would click download again and it'll automatically get sent to your downloads folder and that's how you can access it. Now you can send this to family, friends or whomever and personalize it and just have fun with this. So the possibility are endless so I hope you enjoy what you learn. All right, so if you found this tutorial helpful, 
please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel for more tutorials, and let me know in the comments how you plan to use your storytelling skills. Also, remember you can add background music, you can add voice narration, you can really make this even more engaging by personalizing it. And remember, happy creating, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.